in this how to we are going to see that how to retrieve the saved images into the database and show them on the page this is very frequently asked a question in the forum that uh, we are able to save the records uh, sorry save the images into the database but how to show them, uh, show them on the page so here I'm going to cover this uh, so for that what I have done is that I have created a grid view generally because generally these kind of questions are asked related by the grid view that how to retrieve how to show the uh, saved images into the database into the grid view so that's why I have taken this example however uh, this how to is valid of in case you just want to show one images anywhere on the page as well so let me first create a grid view in my page so here is the grid view and uh, I'm going to explain everything here so please don't worry about it okay so this is my grid view now first let me say uh, let me talk about this grid view what is inside this grid view grid view uh, is basically a, a, a data control in ASP.NET that is used to show the data in the tabular format and here we are going to see the data of uh, my files table in the tabular format so one column first column will be auto ID second column will be the name of the file and the third column will be the actual image that is being saved into the files database table and the fourth will be uh, is active whether that field is true whether that record is true or false the most important code is here where we have written img src equal to show image dot ashx and auto id uh, will be the auto id of that particular record and then alt i have written so that if image will not be displayed then this alternate text will appear as the file text now what is this ashx ashx is nothing but a handler a generic handler file I'm going to show you that as well here so the very very important point is this one in case you will have to show any uh, image that has been saved into the database in most of the scenario you will have to use the the, the generic handler that comes in ASP.NET so first uh, let me create the code behind for this particular page so here is the code behind where I have a first con str variable in the page label and then we have in the page load also so here is my page load event and uh, yes so let me see yes and then here and then here I think we are done yes now let me uh, let me go through the code that we have in the code behind in the code behind first we have a payable variable called underscore con str where we are retrieving the web.config file connection string and saving into the underscore con str and then if the page is being loaded for the first time then if it will be then it will be if not is post back then we are calling bind files uh, method in this bind files method that is of private nature we are instantiating this data table and then instantiating this SQL connection using the uh, connection string and uh, we are executing the select statement in real case in, in real scenario you should use the stored procedure that I had covered in the previous video and uh, then we are instantiating the SQL command by passing the uh, SQL that we want to execute and the connection string sorry the database connection and then instantiate the data adapter by passing the SQL command and then call the fill method uh, and that will basically fill the records from this files table uh, database table into the data data table variable and then what we are doing is that we are setting the data source of the grid view as the data table and then we are calling a data bind that will basically populate the record from this particular database table into this grid view fine now let's talk about this show image dot ashx that is the generic handler so let me create one generic handler as well and here is my code of the generic handler so let me copy from here and right click uh, this project click add new item and uh, select a generic handler from here this is generic handler 
and let us name it as show image so let me refresh this let me copy paste the entire code so that automatically things will be replaced here so here is my code and naturally we will have to use some name as well so system dot configuration and then using system dot data and using system dot data dot sql client fine so most of the things are here and then i think we are done almost yes and let's uh, rename this name of the handler to so image dot ashx okay now let's try to understand what is inside this handler now here what we have is that first we have checked uh, using the context object you do not need to worry about these things because whenever you will create the handler automatically this process request with the http context as the parameter and this is reusable will 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 be will be written so i am just using the same thing the code that i have written here is from here to here so here i am checking if auto id query string is not coming into this handler then simply return means do not do anything in this case we are passing auto id here auto id as the auto id of this particular record so naturally auto id will come on this so image dot ashx handler file so if it will come then it will go ahead and it will come here and it will first retrieve the connection string from the web config file and then it will retrieve the auto id from the query string and save into the auto id string variable then what we are doing is that here instead of saying say, uh, saving into the string variable you can uh, cast it into the integer and uh, save into the integer variable as well and then what we are doing is that we are instantiating the sql connection and then we are uh, trying to get the file content because in the file content field itself we are we have saved the image uh, into the database so we have retrieved the file content from the file table where auto id is whatever auto id will be passed into this handler and then what we are doing we are adding the parameter naturally auto id parameter because this sql statement has auto id as the parameter and opening the connection and then reading and then we are what we are doing is that we are using the sql data reader and executing the execute reader method of the sql command by passing command behavior dot close connection it means what what will happen is that whenever the work of this sql uh, data reader is done means whenever uh, you will close the sql data reader then what will happen is that this database connection will be automatically closed that's what this uh, statement does and once we have the file content into this uh, sql data reader object then we are reading the file content and uh, using context dot response dot binary write method we are uh, converting that file content into the array of byte and we are writing on the page on the page in it means that as a stream of this this image source so what will happen is that binary code will be written uh, and then that binary code will basically have the image content so that's why the image content will be displayed in this of here so uh, now let me run this page and see what is happening so i'm going to run this page here so here is my page that i'm going to run and you can see that one by one one by one the page content should display now naturally it is not displaying now let me see what's the problem yes the problem is the the name of the the class name is so image but here we have referenced as handler the default name that's why this problem is coming now let me refresh this page again and you can see that all the images are displaying from the database here article is not being displayed because article was the text file okay so naturally it, it will not be displayed as the img src now let me uh, just uh, uh, walk through all the steps that we have followed the important point is not here get view but the important uh, uh, point is he, this img tag so i have img and then src equal to the handler and i have passed the auto id of the record whose image i want to show and in this uh, generic handler what we have done is that we have retrieved the auto id and we have 
retrieve the file content and using uh, content dot response dot binary writer we are converting the content into the array of a byte and that is being ultimately specified as the IMGSRC and as a result the image from the database is being shown here. So here till now we, we saw that how to uh, show the images into the grid view. What if we have to just show one images without using the grid view? That was also pretty simple but, but let me just cover it here. So here in this case what we need to do is that we need to hard code the auto ID. So let me uh, hard code the auto ID. Let me see what is in uh, into our database. So in database we have ID, auto ID 5. So let me show the .NET .com logo here. So auto ID is 5. So I will write 5 here and alt I will specify as .NET .com. Now what will happen because it is again the src of this image tag is so image.ashx auto id equal to 5 so what it will uh, do is that it will go to this handler and it will retrieve the file content uh, of the record whose auto id is 5 and it will convert that content into the area of a byte and it will uh, show uh, as the src of this particular image tag. Let me run this page and uh, let me show you see here this image is displaying now let's let's change the uh, value let me show you my funda logo so 7 auto id is 7 here so i'm just changing it from 5 to 7 and now here instead of this my funda logo should show you can see here 